Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching PSD2HTML and CSS Lesson 3 and in this video we're going to take a look at the overall HTML structure. Alright, so before we touch any code, I just wanted to point you in the direction of this website. It's brackets.io and basically this is the text editor that I'm going to be using for this playlist. It's a really good one. It's completely free as well. So I suggest you go there and download it right now. It's just this big blue download button here and it's going to download the brackets version you need for your computer. So once you've downloaded that, install it and I'll meet you on the other side. Alright then gang, so I'm here in brackets and if you remember from the last lesson I created this folder called website and then within it I've got an images folder where we saved all of our PSD images that we need and I've got this index.html file which is completely blank that's also at the root of the document. Now what I like to do when I start a mock-up or a PSD to HTML project is first of all get all of the HTML document structure down first and then I do the CSS. If I need to make tweaks to the HTML later I'll just come back in and do that. So what I've done is got the PSD open up here on the right as well and I've just made little sections here with coloured boxes and the first section is this one right at the top. That's the header section. Okay so we're going to put that in a section of its own because it would be on every page I imagine. The next section right here is the banner, so we'll do that next. And then finally, we have this main content here. And each of these three sections, one, two, three, is within that main content. All right. But the first thing we need to do is create our overall HTML document outline. And that includes, first of all, writing the doc type tag, which is just open angle bracket and then exclamation mark doc type in capitals and then just HTML. That's the new HTML5 doc type and that's all you need to write. Okay. Then we'll write our HTML tags like that. Then we need a head tag where we're going to put all the title and um, link up any kind of CSS that we need. Then we'll do a body tag like that. And then within the head, we're just going to do a title tag for now and it's called green design. And remember the title tag controls what you see at the top on one of the tabs in your internet browser, right? So next thing we need to do is go into the body. We'll add the CSS file in later, by the way. Go into the body and we'll start doing these sections. Now the first thing we want is this header and HTML5 actually has a new tag called header, which is more semantic. So we'll use that instead of writing a div tag. And then after the header, we've got this banner area. Now, we could use, again, one of HTML5's new tags called section, but I don't really think that warrants a section tag. Instead, we'll just use a div for this, but I am going to give it an ID of lead banner, like that. Okay, the next section we've got is the main content, which holds all of these bits here. So we'll just do a div tag for that. We'll give it an ID as well of main content. Right, And I've given these both IDs because both of these only appear once on the page. If they were to appear twice or more times, I'd give them a class. Now, within the main content, we've got these three sections, right? And for this, I am going to use the new HTML5 tag section. So let's create the first one. I'm not going to give these IDs just yet. I'll just write the tags. Oops. And then finally, the last one. Perfect. And then we're going to save it there for now. So if you have any questions about this lesson whatsoever, feel free to comment down below. I'll answer all of those. Otherwise, guys, if you enjoy these videos, please share, subscribe or like. And I'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to start padding out this a little bit more. I'll see you guys then.